Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we are going to be finding a secret treasure buried near Annisburg. So this is a treasure that isn't even mentioned in the strategy guide, and I haven't seen a whole lot of people talking about it. So I actually found out about this when I actually looted a random civilian in Annisburg, I didn't even mean to loot them. It was one of those things where I was trying to get on my horse, but I accidentally tackled them, and then I started spamming triangle, and I got wanted, and I ended up looting them, and what happened was I got this newspaper scrap called Bennett Brothers Newspaper Scrap, and it encouraged me to investigate this entire story. And the article is about the Bennett Brothers and their lost gold. And it's from an issue of the New Hanover Gazette nearly three years ago, August 12, 1896. It says, Brothers slain in a bloody murder triangle. Three brothers from the town of Annisburg in Roanoke Ridge are believed to be dead, reportedly all murdered by their own hands. Friends of the family say the brothers Gideon, Ira, and Earl Bennett were extremely close but had fallen out recently over some gold which each other believed the other had stolen from them. While the men have all some history of trouble with the law, they dot, dot, dot. And that is where the article leaves off. Okay, so we get some interesting details here. Three years ago, three brothers, Gideon, Ira, and Earl Bennett, had some gold, and it looks as if they all got killed because of this gold. And they were at one point in trouble with the law, and we don't know where the gold is. There are no hints or anything along those lines. Now, what's also interesting is you can hear some more information about this story from a random camper. This random camper appears near the Mysterious Hill home and Arthur's grave. And these are one of the campers that instead of engaging and getting hostile with you, will encourage you to sit down at their fire and will actually tell you like a story. And uh, this is what this camper had to say about the Bennett brothers and the Annisburg gold. Thank you. So where are you from, friend? Kind of all over the place. I am from Mexico. I left because my best friend, a man I'd known my whole life, betrayed me. And why am I telling you this? Because often the company of strangers is the best kind. The closer we get, the more cruel we become. Uh, See, you know it too. I don't know how well you know the town of uh, Annisburg, but they tell a story of three brothers, close as can be, until greed destroyed them. They'd found gold together, but one of them ran off with it all. Now, the three of them lie dead. They say... The brother marked the spot where he'd hidden the gold with tree carvings until he was followed there and shot dead by one of the other brothers. As far as I know, it's never been found. And neither has the body of my best friend. All right, so this fellow camper from Mexico essentially tells us the exact same thing. However, he reveals some more information that the gold has never been found. So this got me thinking, is the gold actually out there? And where could it possibly be found? So because it's supposed to be in Annisburg, at least according to the newspaper scrap and according to what the guy from Mexico said at his campfire, I started to look around areas in Annisburg. And the one area that stuck out to me was the mine. Like I knew Annisburg was famous for one thing and it was that mine. So. I wanted to go inside and check that out to maybe see if it was buried there, to see if I could ultimately find it. I kind of thought it was a long shot, but you know what? We might as well go check out and see if we can find anything. And I thought I took a wrong turn, but I actually stumbled upon this writing on the wall, which Arthur could actually inspect. Now that is kind of interesting, and it's not a point of interest. You can just inspect it, and Arthur will actually write it down. And this is what it says. It says, North Bennett flew, and then North Bennett flew again, spelled F-L-U-E, red roof, green door, brothers, I'll be poor, no more. 
So I think that this poem is directly related to the Bennett Brothers treasure. So a couple things I got out of this is red roof, green door. I think it's describing a house. And then it says to the north. So that's what I assume, that it's something to the north of Annisburg. And it is a red roof and a green door. So sure enough, I started exploring to the north of Annisburg. And I came across this little house. And wouldn't you know that it has sort of trim of red on the roof and it has a green door. And it also has these red window shutters and trim around the door as well. So I thought to myself, okay, this might be the place. I once again confirmed that the writing in my journal was the exact same as what we're seeing here. So I went inside to explore this house. Now, the first thing I started doing was immediately checking every single cabinet that I could. I was hoping to find like a gold bar or something that would tell us where the treasure is. You know, maybe the treasure is inside here. And while I was exploring one of the cabinets, I actually found a photo. And it looks like this photo right here, I would have to imagine, is our Bennett brothers. That these are the three brothers. And they are standing together. They are side by side, shoulder to shoulder. And they look like they are in good spirits. So this even adds more suspicion to our mystery here. That how could brothers who looked like they had such a good relationship go so sour and so south so quickly? So again, interesting stuff to think about here. Now, I started to search the rest of the house, and I was getting so frustrated because I could not find anything, and then I stumbled across the chimney, and in the chimney, I found something I was looking for, and that is the sketched map, and this is the sketched map right here, so it gives us three images. It gives us, I think, what is the Elysian pool on the far left. I'm not sure what the photo in the middle is. I think that's like an actual photo photo of the Elysian pool. And then on the right, it's a tree with an X on it, like X marks the spot. And it says Annisburg Elysian pool, 20 steps north, five steps to the east. So it looks like we have got to go head to the Elysian pool and find out where this is. Now, as I was heading there, this is completely unrelated to this mystery. And I'm no scientist or meteorologist. Maybe you guys can let me know. How is it raining when it's 25 degrees Fahrenheit out? Like, like I said, I'm no scientist, I'm no meteorologist, but I do know that water freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So shouldn't it be like hailing or snowing or something along those lines? Instead, we just got this really crappy weather. So I don't know what's going on, but the weather was absolutely terrible. I'm telling you guys, this was quite the adventure because on my way to this... Uh, Elysian pool and trying to find this treasure. I got ambushed by the Murphy brothers. They sent a, you know, flaming uh, trolley down the side of a hill. And uh, I ran into this guy who was looking for Gavin, like in the middle of nowhere. Didn't even know he could come out here, but apparently he can. Anyways, getting back to the treasure, I found this cliff overlooking the Elysian pool and I found the tree we were looking for. It's this tree right here and you can see it is X marks the spot on the tree. Uh, if you are on the map and you see Kamasa River, it is like right under the little R in river. So that is where you need to go. And as you guys can see there, it told us we needed to take 20 steps to the north and five steps to the east. So I roughly walked 20 steps forward and then I ended up walking five steps to the right. And I wasn't too sure what I was looking for here. I didn't see like a box of treasure or anything like that. In fact, the only thing I saw was this misplaced rock and we could actually inspect it, which is cool. So we can inspect this rock and I guarantee you our treasure is under here, but I wanted to wait for some better weather because this was absolutely terrible. So I slept, waited till noon, and now we've got some good weather to check this out. And upon inspecting the rock, you'll actually pull out one gold bar. 
So that right there is the secret Bennett Brothers treasure that you might not have known about in Red Dead Redemption 2. That solves the Annisburg treasure mystery. The reward at the end is not super satisfying, like especially when you compare it to some of the other treasure hunts and like the strange statues puzzle and, you know, of course, any of the other things you could do in game uh, because those gold ingots, you can only sell them for $500, which again is a lot of money. But for me, the more satisfying thing was solving this mystery, figuring out the Bennett Brothers newspaper scrap, what that old man at the campfire was talking about, the clues in the Annisburg mine, and then, of course, finding the actual location. So, yes, it was cool to check this out. But at the end of the day, it's really just one gold ingot. But you should definitely never complain about free money because you can use that $500 to get yourself a new horse or upgrade some of your guns or buy some new clothing. Really do whatever you want. But anyways, that right there is the mystery solved of the Bennett Brothers Gold or the Annisburg Treasure in Red Dead Redemption 2. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Let me know what you think about this entire story, the treasure, and more. If you did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.